Hello, good evening, happy Wednesday, yay live. <laughs> Excuse me, hello with the singing. Hi friends, welcome. Thank you for coming to another live. I appreciate it. Oh, thanks, Sizzy. I just thought, you know what, I can't see. I can't see without my glasses. So I had to, you know, I, I could technically see, but they're real too. They're, these are not just frames, okay? They're prescriptione. They are. Before I forget, I'm afraid I cannot have a live this coming Friday, I know. I looked at my calendar and my evening slots are back to back to back. I got a call at six and I could do the live at seven, but I have a class to teach at eight and I like to just have a little extra time for myself before I teach, ideally, you know, so it will be a little cramped. Just saying, it'll be a little cramped on uh, Friday. So unfortunately, we'll not have a, a live on Friday. So tonight, we got to make it happen, fam. We got to make it happen. Let's say hello to the squad. Hi, everyone. Hi, Pam. Hi, Aisha. Hi, Amira. Hi, Emily. We got our Emily or... Oh, my moldy queen. What's going on? <laughs> Right, Izzy? I got a lot. Oh my God, my Friday is crazy. Oh, woo. It's a lot, but you know what? And Sarah, guess what I have on the eyes today? Your recommended combination, Pat McGrath's Golden Opulence with her Rose Decadence. I had to. I had to. So we have a bunch of palettes today, fam. I didn't know what to do. Oh, let me show you my outfit. Hold on. Let me show you my outfit. Do you like? 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 Do you... <laughs> Sit down, Alicia. Get, get back to work. Come on. Come on. So this top is from that ridiculous Instagram. I don't know if I consider it Instagram brand, but it's Joa Brown. I roll my eyes because it's very expensive cotton, okay? But some of their tops are nice. Like, this is all form-fitting. It's soft. It's comfortable. I don't need a bra, okay? So, this is kind of like my shtick in terms of what I like to wear. And a lot of their tops very much align with that type of styling. So, it's not so much that I buy it to think I'm going to look like one of their models is more so that I'm like, oh, that's cute and comfortable. Like, I could wear that all day and not feel annoyed by it. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> so that is a, uh, you know what I'm saying? That's a good top. You s fashion, 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 fashion. <laughs> all right. Listen, Ooh, we got T in the house. Hi, T. What? Oh, you twisting your hair? Oh my gosh. Good for you. Listen away. Get to finger, get to finger raking and twisting. I haven't been twisting my hair in ages. Maybe I should do that. Oh my God. I'm just thinking about all this hair, parting it and twisting in my shoulders. Oh, my shoulders. Anyway, let us get into this eyeshadow. Now, I wanted to show you quickly. I got, again, the Golden Opulence and the Rose Decadence on my eyes. But to also show, I got the Raw Beauty Christie. 
I have my custom Lethal Cosmetics palette that I put together. Thanks to one of our squad members, she gifted me a gift card from Lethal Cosmetics. Thank you so much. So, you know, I bought a little something something from Lethal, okay? I also, at the time, was very lucky that their After Dark palette, I put the stickers on it. You see that? I put the 90 stickers. I love stuff like this. Look at my logo. Look at my logo. If it's, it has to be 90s or bust, okay? So this is the After Dark palette. Ain't she beautiful? So maybe we could get into, get into some of that. And you know I have the good old Natasha Denona. The bra, listen. This bronze palette, I was looking through a couple of photos. I'm going to flex for a minute. I'm going to flex for a minute. Just, just bear with me, fam. I was looking through old makeup photos. Ran across a few where I wore the bronze palette. And man, like, I was just, what? I don't know. That day, the blend was really good. Something was really good because, woo, and it it reaffirms the fact that bronze palette from Natasha might be one of my faves from her because woo, the color stories and I was looking at Anthony Butte or Anthony Butte he was uh, reviewing the Natasha Denona palette because he won the giveaway and the way his eyes looked fam my goodness me it was too much to take too much to take oh here it is I told you I'm going to flex for a minute. I don't know what it is about this palette. The bronze palette. Is Tara Lynn in the house? Tara. What's up, my friends? Hi, Erika. Hi, Taya. What's going on? Listen, and I get it. Sometimes Pat pushes all my video scheduling out the way too like i just freaking love the bronze palette i don't know what it is so we got her on standby you know what i'm saying we got her on standby you know maybe maybe we could do a little mixy mix okay we could do a little mixy mix so i wanted to show you the golden opulence with well hold on let me uh pull you in a little closer perfect Perfect. So we got a little bit of golden opulence and rose decadence, but I thought maybe we'll take this off, right? We'll take it off, start from scratch, see what we got. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, hey, hey. That's better. Perfect. Okay. Thanks, Tarolyn. Thank you so much. Hi, heavy on the chai. What's up, friend? <laughs> yes, this would really work, Alicia. If you look at the mirror this way. Try that again. My goodness me. Oh, and I am planning on uploading this video tomorrow. I got the new Hourglass at Night blush. And I also uh, bought the Unlocked Mascara. I want, I want to upload it as a video. I did a first impressiones and I, you know, because I'm like, Elisa, you got to put up some content this, this week, friend. You really got to, to be totally real with you, friends. The Rose Decadence video took a lot out of me <laughs> because I got it in the mail that day. I wanted to upload it before it went on live the next day. So from getting the package to opening it to organizing my filming setup getting my thoughts together getting all the palettes to compare all the shades together and doing the actual video then have to upload the footage then have to edit it then have to go through the edit again okay and then have to put all the finishing touches on the video before it goes live on youtube then have to wait for the processing that's why it was up so late and it was it's just too much and after that video i was like i'm done for the week <laughs> i didn't have anything in me i felt terrible terrible 
So that was that. And now for this week, I feel a little a little more rejuvenated. We shall see. Okay, so we get I'm actually going to, you know what? Let me apply the concealer now. I'm gonna apply it now. Combining some Dior. Oh, this is the wrong Dior. Hold on. I got the wrong shape, fam. Let's go to the concealer bar. Hold on. Nope. Yep, this is the one. This is the one. Here we go. Here we go. The Dior Skin Correct and the Hourglass. 2019 was the year of the concealer, fam. Let me tell you. I was just looking at all of them last night, and I was like, wow, you know, there are some good concealers in this, in, in this whole from the whole year that I've been using nonstop between the two that I just showed, the Shiseido, the Pat McGrath. Pat McGrath came out 2020? I think so. Early, 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 early 2020 before everything just fell apart. And uh, but with all of that, I've just been so happy. So happy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the wrong Dior. Okay, let's see here. Let's see here. Hi, everyone. All right, Tara. The, the hourglass is great. I use that also on my face. Let's see here. <gasps> Ooh, Megan got the Sonya G I Sky Brush Set. Do you love it, friend? Oh, I'm so happy to hear that news. What do you think of the Makeup Forever Concealer? Oh, Christiane, I have not picked it up, I have to say, because I've been so happy with what I currently have. And I, I made a deal with myself and said, hey, you know, before you roll into anything new, and why can't I do that with eyeshadow, Alicia? That's another conversation. But before I roll into anything new, I wanted to finish at least some of the concealers I currently own and maybe get into the Makeup Forever. But has anyone tried the Makeup Forever, fam? My goodness, this Suku powder, look, it's all in Japanese. I don't know what this says. All I know is that it's beautiful. That's it. Just tap it, tap, tap. I still need to do my Suku video. Oh, so much, so much to do. My goodness me. I'll apply more highlighter. Do you all want to see this hourglass blush real quick? Just real quick. I'm still going to do the video because I wanted to do, you know how I like to do the product details and the comparisons. Right? Do I have it though? Yes, I do. Isn't this just the most gorgeous and listen, I'm, we're mad at Hourglass. They're like, we gotta do better with these bronzer, with a lot of the shades, okay? This shade right here. Just a little tap. Let's just, let's just do a little tap, shall? I, this shade is beautiful. It is so fall appropriate. The hue of it all is simply gorgeous. Outstandingly beautiful. I love. I'm putting it a little higher because typically with shades like, you know, these maroony types of shades, I like to place a little higher on the face so it just looks snatched and lifted. <laughs> That's what I'm looking to do, okay? Let's get into these eyebrows quickly because I think I dismantled them a little bit with the Bioderma, but it's all good. It's all good. I did participate in the uh, Muse Beauty Pro sale. I did. I got the Midsummer and Solstice Petite Pros. I got to do a video on that. And, uh, but with that order, I did buy their primer. And I actually quite like it. Is like it's more silicone in nature. I'm so sorry for my nails. They're chipping. I'm sorry. I'm not ready for the video. It's more silicone in feel, but I actually quite like it. 
between this, the hourglass, which I bought a new one, by the way, got a backup because I've been using it like crazy, and the Kaleidos tone activator, my eye primer game has also been lit. Okay? Hey, Pauline! Oh, did you all see Pauline's video on her Rose Decadence palette, or rather her Pat McGrath haul? <laughs> Thing about Pauline that I love... It's just, she is, her humor is so sarcastic and dry, but just so delightful at the same time. It's just, you're getting a deluxe package. It's just too much to take. I love me some Pauline Newman, let me tell you. And all, all our friends' channels will be down below. I'll make sure to update that after the video. Hello! Hi, everyone. Hi, Lorraine. All right. Primer is on. Okay, what shad what palettes are we using for the first round, fam? Are we gonna do Golden Opulence and Rose Decadence? Are we gonna do Lethal Cosmetics and Pat? Or are we gonna do Natasha Denona and Lethal? Raw Beauty Christie? What are we gonna do? Let's see what we got. Ooh. I just got that one too and I really like it. I actually have to do a Sephora sale video. It's gonna be called, I only bought four things from the Sephora sale. <laughs> and the micro filing, the micro filling pen, pen is one of them actually. I have it right here. I really like it. I like it, it's, it's like a marker and it has the prongs on there. It's just so much fun to use. And I feel it's very useful for the brow days that you want to be light. You don't want the brow to be intense, but I'll feature this in my what I got from the Sephora sale video. Is it really? Oh, that's too bad. Well, you know, I haven't bought a brow uh, product in a while, so I thought I would give it a shot. Let me see here. Lethal, okay, and Decadence. Rose Decadence for sure. <laughs> Wait a minute, what did she say? I was finishing my last quiz when Naye said she participated in the Muse sale. Can we officially say participated in the sale instead of bought more makeup, please? <laughs> I know, I know, I'm so, I'm so terrible. We, yes. Exactly. We participated. We didn't buy more makeup. We just contributed. <laughs> Thank you so much. Lethal. Lethal, lethal, lethal. You know what I'm saying? T just has a way with words. She's my she's my number one wordsmith, okay? <laughs> That's why I say. Okay. Lethal and PMG. All right, let's do it. Well, I'm so you know what can I well let me just be very careful here because ooh, let me use this color this is the color oh, I don't, I'm using my tweezers I really shouldn't but I want to give you oh gosh the name of the you know what let me be smart hold on hold on there we go. We got to get the spatula, fam. We got to get the spatula, okay? We don't want to be breaking stuff and scratching stuff. I want to be able to show you the actual shade. This is in remission. We're going in with this shade first. It is a, a salmon peach. And why not? Oh, actually, the next one over. Aren't you so proud of me? I picked out these colors myself. <laughs> Unity which is more of like a plum. Actually, I'm gonna swatch these right next to Peach Dusk and Hedonistic Rose. So this is Peach Dusk. Let me take this watch off. I did my steps, well actually, I didn't, I didn't do 10,000 steps for it today, but it's all right. That's Peach Dusk, and here is the matte from Lethal. So significantly lighter in the color, yeah? So let's put that in the crease. 
We'll do that first. Here is hedon Hedonistic Rose. And going in with Unity, that darker shade from Lethal. Yeah, let's see here. So that's, isn't that crazy how Hedonistic has more red and the one from Lethal is just more like plummy. You know what I'm saying? All right, Fluffy Blush. Pfft. Try that again. Fluffy Brush. Here we come. Of course, I did not pick up. I needed a fluffier brush, but it's okay. Hakuhodo B142. One of my most favorites. In with Lethal's Remission. Let's do it. You know what? It's time we got it. Oh, oh my gosh. No. Here we go. Yeah better <laughs> that's pretty let me move this mic okay looking very pink it could also double as a blush I'm sure I'm tapping so I could get more color payoff here What do we think? That's a nice color. That's a nice color. We'll see Unity. We'll we'll try Unity. We'll see what we get from it, you know? Right? Oh, that's what I'm saying. Aisha's like, I can see the pickup. I'm like, I know. Listen, I wanted to invest back into your experience, fam. You deserve the best. That's it. Going into Peach Dusk from Mama Pat, tapping that under remission, because now that's going to warm it up. You know what I'm saying? That definitely has a, a warmer tinge to it. That, that, that upped it. That upped it. I want to go in with a, you know what? I'm going to use Wayne's brush actually with remission and just really like pink it up. I'm going to pink it up. That's it. Woo. Why not? Just over the, over the hourglass. Just put it all over. Let's go into Unity. Let's go into this color. Hopping in. Ooh, Sonya G, soft shader. I'm gonna tap this on Forest. Tap it a tap. Second time going in. Not bad. I feel like it's there is definitely there the peach dusk and the remission I think is swallowing it up a little bit but it's all good because I think this you know this is the general consensus of the look also sometimes when you layer a lot of mattes the uh, intensity can can suffer because of that Hmm. Mm hmm. Thank you. Well, I I need to read these comments, Alicia. You need to be a better live host. I mean, for crying out loud, B one fifty two. No, B one forty two. There we go. Blending out unity. What do we think? You know what? I probably have to apply this just on one mat. You know what I'm saying? I want to go in with hedonistic on top of unity. Let's do it. Tapping that on. Better. Oh, 
I just realized, I was like, you know what? I just realized I forgot to put my computer on the ethernet again. So hopefully the internet will not fail us. Hopefully. <laughs> Let me see here. You know, I'm feeling like going in with this shade. What is this one called? Oh, oh. Backdraft. All right, let's do it. Going in with the finger. That's pretty. It's like a, a coral shimmer. I like that. I am, I am, I did buy the Natasha Denona liquid shadows. I did. That demo she did on the, on the YouTube, oh my gosh. That one shade looks exactly like sextra, sextra, sextra terrestrial. I mean, we ha I, I did it for the comparison, okay? I bought it for the comparison. <sighs> oh. You need to relax, Alicia. That's what you need to do, okay? That's what you need to do. That's a pretty shade. I like Backdraft a lot. Hopping in with one of my shader brushes. You know, and then carving right under the crease here. Yes. That's pretty. All right, let me put that back. Or it's already back. What am I saying? You know what? You know what? I want to try this shade here. It's like, um, it's like a violet shift one. Enigma? It kind of reminds me of Fuchsia Flame, except Fuchsia Flame from... <sighs> what am I saying? Fuchsia Flame from... Rose Decadence has a little more pink, pink in it versus the one that I just picked up from Lethal. Here we go. So the Lethal one looks to have a, more of a violet base or we could just, you know what, let me just do them. <laughs> that didn't sound right, sorry. <laughs> okay, Fuchsia Flame. And what is this, this, this color here? I just read it, Enigma. So again, Fuchsia Flame is more of like the magenta base. Enigma has like that stronger violet. It's like, I think the base is just more violet versus Fuchsia Flame is more magenta. And with that said, I wanna take Enigma, here we go. Where, where is the brush that I just used? Well, hopping into my refer. Oh, that's pretty. I placed it right over Backdraft. Ooh, yes. And I'm pulling it through and under the lower lash line. That's pretty. Hi, Audra. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Sade. Ooh, I love, yes, Enig Enigma is cooler. It definitely is, most deaf. Why not? Let's do Fuchsia Flame as our prominent lash line color. Hmm, yes. That's pretty. I love that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. That is eye look number one. What do we think? What do we think? Well, I'm gonna put lashes on, but for eye look number two, number D, let us, ooh, well, you know, I still have this palette from Lethal. So we could do 
this, you know, what are we, you know, this is the one I think that's more like fuchsia flame. That's pretty. Oh, don't go the wrong way. Fuchsia flame still looks, uh, more rose. Yeah. Versus this one here from the after dark palette. Looks a little more pink. This looks so pretty. What is this about? That's pretty. Let me see. Ooh, that's more like a topper type of a gig. It has, it's like a very light base with, what is this reflect? I can't even tell what that is. Is, is that lime? It's like silver. I can't, I don't know. I don't know. Now I don't know what to do. I think I got to go here. Th this pink is calling me. It is. I should do some of the blues though. Well, we'll see how much time we got. We'll see how much time we got. Let me give this brush a wipe. I, I mean, I have a bunch of other eye brushes I technically could use, but I'm just not. <laughs> I'm just going to stay right here. Going in with that hot pink matte from the After Dark palette, and I'm punching that on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. I could technically use some of Pure and Raw Beauty Christie as well. She has Side Effect. Side Effect is just hot, hot pink, and this is more of like a neon pastel. It reminds me of the pop polish shades from their neon uh, pastel cream collection. I don't think the Viseart primer is ideal for these types of shadows. However, I didn't know what I was going to do. I think the Kaleidos one has more stick and would have been optimal for this matte. Because I have to, I feel, layer a lot more on to get it to look real intense. Mm -hmm -hmm. But that's pretty. That's pretty. And if you're wondering, I'm sorry I don't have shade names. The, the palette, let me see here if it has it on the back. Oh, yes, it does. It's, it's on a very small graph. Great. Uh, that is their cap, caps lock, caps lock. Now we'll go into quick save. More of the coral orange. And I'm definitely, will use, words, hello, definitely using the Wayne Goss Artist Small as like a diffuser here. Because I think those shades together, so pretty. That's a nice combination, fam. I love. That's pretty. Although I would like to go in with this again with the Kaleidos primer, but that's not too bad. Viseart is not doing too bad with this. All right. Most definitely now want to go in with that shade that we swatch main frame this one right here let's do it mm-hmm all right here we go oh yes that's pretty i wish you could see this in person because it definitely has a very strong neon pink feel to it Dab, dab, dab. That's pretty. I love that. I want to go in now with that shade that I could not identify on the inner part. Ooh, that made it pop off. That's it. That's it. 
that definitely made it pop off. All right. That is very shiny. Woo! How about we go in with this purple? You know, on the outer lower... Let's try that again, friends. <laughs> outer lower part of our lash line. Excuse me while I, I'm trying to stay organized here because right now is a disaster, okay? A complete and utter disaster. Going in with that purple I just showed on the outer part of the lower lash line. I don't know if it was a good idea, but I'm going to bring it up a little bit so it could appear more harmonious, a little more cohesive. Okay. Be careful. I don't want to get out of hand here. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Huh. What can we do on the inner right here? Looking at this palette. Well, we have this shade. This looks interesting. Why not? Let's do it. Again, Alicia, stay organized. Do not get out of hand. Put this back. Put it back. Okay. All right. Picking up that shade with my refer shader brush. This is a pretty... This is definitely with lavender base and a blue flip. Most definitely. <laughs> That's it. I'm ordering that little, okay? I think, unfortunately, the After Dark palette is out of stock at the moment. I'm so sorry. I really thought it was not until I was <sighs> updating my description box. And lo and behold. But get on whatever notifications you need to fam pretty i love all right let's quickly put on these lashes fam i'm i'm going with the raw beauty christy lovely lashes because i figured you know why not oh these knees these knees these knees Whew. Quickly, 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 Alicia. You got to do it. You got to get, got to get these lashes on. I do like the slightly thicker band simply because I feel that makes it easier to apply the glue. You know what I'm saying? I do feel the lovely style, and these are the more, it's funny, more wearable style, according to Christy. I, I actually think these are very, very in your face. That's all I'm saying. Oh, make sure the tweezers are not sticky. Hi, Natasha. Hi, Chantel. What's up? We got to make sure the glue's tackety-tack-tack. Tack. Okay, let's see here. I don't want to mess this up. Oh, no, you're already messing up. What did I say? You got to make sure these tweezers are clean, Alicia. No stickiness allowed. Okay. <laughs> These are so big. My goodness me. These are so big. It's so funny how these are like the chill lash. <laughs> I do not... Not on me anyway. I don't consider these to be chill, but whatever. Woo. Maybe I'm just not accustomed to me wearing lashes like these. But you know how I feel about my Ardells. Ooh, 
that's a lot. Mm, mm. You know what I want to put on? Fam, you know what I want to put on? One of these actual shades from Mama Pat that I love. Let me see here. Is it this one? There's this astral lip with a beautiful blue flip. It's outrageous. Ooh, this one's so pretty too. <sighs> you know what? Let me go in with VR Pink Astral. <sighs> First of all, are you kidding me? You see the blue flip in there? I already have some of Divine Rose Lip Gloss. I don't know if you can see the blue flip that comes through. Look how pretty that is. That is so... That's pretty. That is pretty! Final look. Oh, wait, I had a fish. Hold on. Hold on, sweetie. You gotta fix that lash. Look at these lips. VR Pink Astral. Outrageous. Well, you know what, Natasha? At least the price change. Yes, you are right. The actual shades do come in instead of the usual, I think it was, I don't know if it was four grams or 3.5 grams. I forgot what it was prior. So yes, these are smaller. Those are 38, these are 36. So we mentioned it, hooray. But I don't really finish these anyway. I mean, I don't know if I, if I will. I mean, I got three shades and I rotate between these and the sheer lip colors we shall see we shall see okay yeah these are these are really big i mean it's okay i i messed not this one i messed this one up i think i cut this one too short but what do we think should we do blue next Mm, let's do it we gotta finish well you know because I'm not gonna be on here on Friday we might as well double it up you know hey Rugrats hey guys uh, <sighs> all right let's take this off okay Take this up. Siobhan, it is VR Pink Astral from her Astral Finish. Blue. All right, blue. We got the blue. So since we're going to do the blue, I learned my lesson. Let's do the tone activator. All right, I picked it up. Woo. Okay. You know what? I just have to relinquish the fact that I got to do these brows over again. That's it. You know what? What are you going to do? You just got to do them over again. Make sure everything is off and ready to go. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm going to blow my nose. We're back. Excuse me. You got to unmute. You got to unmute. Okay. You know why this software is also great? It tells you if you're muted or not. Ah. All right. All right. So, I don't know if you can see here. I 
take back everything I said about the Dark Star mascara being tough to remove. The Hourglass Unlocked is tougher because it's an actual tubing mascara. So these bits and pieces kind of hang out. You got to make sure you really wipe them away. You know what I'm saying? The Dark Star mascara, if you layer it on there and you remove it, yeah, a lot of bits and pieces kind of break off during the removal process. But, woo, the, the Hourglass Mascara, that's like tenfold. Reapplying our concealer combo we had on for the first demo. Okay, okay. I'll fix this. I know it's looking a little questionable right now, but we'll fix it. I'm also, you know what, let me do, let me get into these brows now. Hopping in some loose powder because I found when I powder my brows before I pencil them in, it gives me a little more control. I'm gonna lift up this insert. There we go. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. There it is. Let's tap on some powder. Okay. Once we have that down, we'll then proceed with our pencil. Then we'll apply our tone activator and we'll be on our way. Okay, fast brows. Nope. It will be helpful if you took the cap off, Alicia. All right, I didn't do the top on this side though. All right, here we go. Let's apply this primer, friends. I like to apply the colloidals on the back of my hand first because it's a lot. You know what I'm saying? Make sure I uh, don't screw this up. Nope. All right. Ooh, these curves. Okay. Ooh. Let's fill it up. All right. And then we are on to the blues, which we shall see what they do. <laughs> Tap to blend. Hi, from Canada. Hello, Chloe. Welcome. All right, <sighs> I want to hop into the one I made because, well, I only have one blue mat here. I have one blue mat. Let's quickly see what that one is. I'm gonna, ooh, don't, don't mess it up. Petri, petricor, petricor. This one right here with the metallic blue to follow however there's some nice turquoise shades here in the after dark palette we got this one and this one that's more of like a powdery blue you know what let me go in with this teal the one from my custom palette petricor however i want to go in with the smith brush i know i this is like one of the only brushes that i like from smith 
the hour head brush I actually think it quite nice 256 with that blue Ooh, oh, I gotta bring you back in how dare I Ooh, that's okay 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 you know what I want to do though fam I think I want to use that green for oh it's a metallic maybe we use this this is like a a limey yellow but I'm I'm feeling that to blend this blue out with. I don't know what it's gonna do. That's not bad. Not bad, not bad. I might have to go in again though and apply a little more of that teal on the cruise. Because it definitely changed the color a little bit, but that's ex to be expected. A little more of that blue with the smaller brush. How does that look? That's pretty. Anytime I encounter a blue, I've said this with the Christie palette as well. The tap I feel is going to ensure the best color payoff because I feel with these types of shades is inevitable that they're not going to, I feel they don't have as much stick because maybe they're drier. All right. Going in with that metallic. Ooh, that's, that's it. Oh, that's the wrong color. That's bright. That is pretty. Yes, Sharon. Tap and dab is great for blue, indeed. But you know what I want to do. I want to take this line with a small shader brush bring it right there oh yes now we're now we're cooking lime and turquoise is just the way to go you know when they're there at your disposal and what i figured i would do when creating this palette Okay, there it is. What are we going to do underneath? Well, oh, we have this color. I forgot about it. Let's pull it under. Oh, yes. That's pretty. That's pretty. The first one we applied on the lid takes a truer turquoise blue. This one here is more leaning teal green. You know? Oh, I got some in my eye. Oh gosh. <laughs> Let's do that teal matte that we applied here. Lower part of the eye. Connecting to the top. I wouldn't advise this, but I'm putting the metallic kind of on my waterline. What do we think? Are we getting crazy? Let me use a fluffier brush here for the outer lower lash line. go back with this lime matte to just buff the edges okay 
Now I'm very curious about these shades right here. Let me wipe off my Smith. Go in with the lighter teal. And put that on the inner part of the eye. Ooh, yes. That's pretty too. Mmm. Maybe this will be our all matte eye with the blues. And then let's go in with this shade, this blue, which is like a cooler blue, but I'll pop it on the outer part of the lid. Yes, exactly. The more pigment, the drier the color. Exactly, Amira. Amira, excuse me. Which definitely why I would recommend that you tap instead of blend. Bao Shao. I only swirl and twirl when I get closer to the crease, but I'm not swirling and twirling on the actual lid. Just on the very edges here to further diffuse. You know what I'm saying? Tap it a tap. That's pretty. Very aqua. Very aqua indeed. The name of that, wasn't it the name of the group? Aqua? I'm a Barbie girl. In a barmy world, life is plastic. It's fantastic. All right, that's enough, Alicia. Enough. Okay. Hmm. Lower inner lash line. What, sh what, you know, I'm looking at this palette, the after dark one, majority mattes. Look at the mess I made. Look at the mess I made. Majority mattes, we only have three, well, no, that's not true. We got this really pretty silver shade. That's nice. I feel we need to involve that in some form or fashion. Although, although I really want to get into this lime green from the custom palette. That's really pretty. You know what? Maybe we could do the lime green on the inner lower half and then pop that silver on the inner corner. I think that's a good idea. I'm going for it. I'm going for the gold. Or in this case, I'm going for the lime. Oh, we lost. I always have an issue, you know what I have to start doing fam, when I apply these pigmented shades, I have to start putting primer here because you see how it's not latching on. I think because this part of my eye tends to tear up and that part of my eye also can get very dry and it's very hard for certain shades, especially when they're drier blues like this, to stick. So I'm gonna have to put primer there because, you know, it's just like so much. That's better though. Look look at this dip. What is happening? Oh my gosh. It's so right. It's so right. Let's just smooth it out. Whenever you feel like you made a mistake, have your concealer brush on hand as an eraser. That's better. Thank you so much. That looks a little cleaner, I think. You're like, no, it doesn't. <laughs> Let me go in with a smaller, smaller brush. Now with that silver shade. Here we go. Ooh, that's pretty. Yes. I could have gone in with the the uh, the matte white too. The matte white would have been nice as well, but I wanted a little bit of shine on the inner corner. 
and I actually want to apply a touch more of this turquoise blue here right here that's better I want to bring it up a little bit just a little bit oh all right we're it's blue la modiana da la body la da also why don't we bring in i i t you know because of the shipping i didn't want to pay for the shipping so i proceeded to add more items to my basket <laughs> and chose to include one of their highlighters which i actually quite like the wavelength pressed highlighter this is in the shade isotope isotope is very pretty i tried it i'm like oh well excuse me is very light weight but i think it beautiful the the shine on it is is soft very easy to apply really nice on the skin see that yes mm. and the other shade i, I yes i bought too it was the shipping threshold, okay? I had to cover it. This is Quantum. This is more of a pink, like a rose gold pink. I then apply this type of a shade a little lower. And that's also very beautiful. See that? There it is. It's like a warm pink. I'm gonna pull a little here off. I have to show you, this might be a little much, but this shade, the Astral shade, I think it's called, let me see here, Amethyst, no. Well, Amethyst might be the one, but I've been loving this one here, Rose Quartz. Oh my gosh. Bye, Tia. Mmm. Mmm. Uh, the shimmery turquoise shade, please. This one right here? Let me get it. I'll actually, I, I'll make sure to put these down in the DB frange. Ariel. Ariel. Hello. Ariel. That's the turquoise one on this eye. And the more teal green one is called uh, Lucid. Yes. Ooh, but look at this lip. That's a lip. That's a lip. But you know what? <laughs> so much, so much sparkle. My gosh. So much sparkle. <laughs> oh. Reapply, reapply. Amethyst. I gotta go with the amethyst. This lavender. Yes, this is it. It's a look. We gotta slap on. We are four minutes over, fam. Let's slap on these crazy lashes. Uh, all right, got the glue. Where are my tweezers? Oh, I see them. I am quite proud of myself, friends, that I did not lose the tweezers because the mess right now beside me, ooh, is questionable. It's organized. It's an organized mess. I know where everything is. You know, it's, it might not be Instagram perfect, but I know where it all is. So I can see it all at the same time. Do, 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 do. Oh. Every time I see messages on my phone, I get worried. I'm like, is a fan member trying to reach out and say that something's not right on the live? I think we're okay. <laughs> Let's 
fan these so they can get tackety tack tack. I like this. The blues, we did go with the blues, fam. We did go with the blues. We got like three different types of blue mats on here. It's pretty. Do a little squash, a, a Sandra Deluxe squash. All right. I definitely screwed this up. I cut this lash way too short. So I gotta, a, I gotta fake it by putting it closer to my inner lash line. That's better. Ooh. This doesn't want to stick. You got to stick for the final look. That's all I ask. Oh, God. Of course. Of course. You know, this always happens to me. And this well, this one's not staying either. Ooh, this one's not staying either. Is, has it come to this lashes? You know, we just want to get this look done, and you you trifling right now. Just don't giving us problems. All right, I don't want any problems. Huh? Are we talking about Leos? Oh my gosh! Wow! Wow! Hi, Maria. I'm an. I was born on January twentieth, so I'm an Aquarian Capricorn. And I was. I was telling. Um, who was I speaking to about this? I'm the one who would randomly try to organize her bookshelf, unplanned. So the unplanned nature of that decision comes from my Aquarian side, but the need to organize came real strong from my Capricorn side. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I just saw everything a mess. I guess more so in that moment than on another day and went gung-ho about it. It's like, I have to do this. have to finish this now all right Ooh, my lashes are like the glue Alicia the glue I'll apply a little bit of so this unlock mascara from hourglass better on the lower lash lines than the dark star the dark star is creamy and I like the creaminess to layer on my top lashes but this does better on the lower because it's a true tubing mascara. But you'll see a full on demo on the video. I'll drop to mirror. All right. Woo. See, it's pretty. Super black. And the wand is a little easier to maneuver also on the lower lashes. I feel like I, oh God. Okay, you know what? You know what, fam? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ooh! Let's see, let's see, let's see. That's better. All right. We did it. We did it. The final look is complete. Blue. Thank you, 
you, Janelle. How do we do, fam? I love it. The blues look fantastic. I even like the all matte eye. We're talking about Capricorns. Yes, Capricorns in his house. And the light balmy, the light balmy hue on the lip, I think pairs well with the eyes. There's a lot going on with the eyes, but I think if you kept kept it light on the lip, or or you most certainly can do something nude instead. I mean, the structural lip liner from Pat, the newer shade, is outrageously beautiful. I mean, it is the perfect pinky nude for me. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Nilifer, it does look 60s. It does. It's a new age blue eye. I could have done a wing, but eh. Eh. I don't know about the wings. The 50s, too. Thank you, fam, for so much for joining me. I don't want to keep you any longer. We're at a minute and 11. <laughs> Try that again. Alicia, the words. We are, we are at an hour and 11 minutes. Going on 12. Yes, Sharon Eleganza. <laughs> Just from the side. There's a highlight. Other side. Enough, Alicia, stop it. Listen, thank you so much, Fran, for hanging out with me once again. I'm sorry that I won't be able to see you on Friday, but next, with the following week, I would like to do twice that week. Uh, stay tuned for an hourglass fit. I would like to drop it tomorrow. And yeah, I always have a blast doing eyeshadow now. Lives are great to do demos now because this camera is picking up the shades, okay? It's picking up the texture, the shine. It's picking it all up. So that's why maybe we'll do some, I like to call it a palette soiree. I'm not sure if that that name or concept has been taken. If it already has, let me know. I will give credit to the person. I just thought about it. I'm sorry I didn't check. <laughs> I don't want to be like BBB. <laughs> I called it a palette party, but I thought palette soiree was more fun. But let me know. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, Orca. Great to see you. I'm sorry I didn't see you earlier. Huh. Bye, T. Bye, everyone. And yes, thank you so much. Have a great night, friends. I'll make sure to update the description box with the Lethal Cosmetic singles that we use in the video. I am so sorry that the After Dark palette is at the moment out of stock, but I am sure that if you type in your email for an alert that will most certainly send you one. Lethal Cosmetics is a European brand, so they do have a shipping threshold, I think, for $20 unless you spend a certain amount. So if you know you're not going to buy from them frequently, then definitely do a little bit of a haul, you know, so you don't have to pay for the shipping or you don't mind if you want to. That's fine as well. Thank you so much, everyone. Much love to you all. Have a great rest of your evening. I'll see you on the replay if you're catching it on the replay. And until then, everyone, bye, friends.